Oops. What if we made a mistake? You know? To, if, to, if you feel that way. Which apparently is many people, many homeowners in the bought in like 2020, 2021. Right. You're not alone. Hi everybody, it's Susan Phelps. And Judy Atari. And today we took a break from touring and videoing interiors of models. So we could just kind of sit down and have a conversation about two interesting um, issues that have come uh, to the forefront in our real estate news articles and periodicals and so forth. And those two things are, oops, what if we made a mistake? You know, if, to, if to, you feel that way. Which apparently is many people, many homeowners in the bought in like 2020, 2021. Right. You're not alone. And there might be a solution for you if you do feel like this was a bad idea to buy a new home, even a resale home. Right, or I bought too much home. Right. So there's been a, a I suppose, a national survey. Yes. Which, you know, so much of the national news about real estate doesn't apply to our area because, well, it just doesn't. Yeah, I mean, demand's still pretty strong. And demand's very strong. Yeah. Um, we're not seeing price decreases. We're seeing maybe leveling, leveling out, but um, and the inventory and resale is going up. Right. So slightly, slightly. Not yeah, maybe still a seller's market. Still a seller's market, for sure. Yeah. And that's something to keep in mind. If you're one of the three quarters of the people that were surveyed by Hippo, that had expressed a regret that they made a mistake when they bought their new home. Yeah, it happens. It happens. So, and we've had both have had experience. Um, today, I'm waiting for a closing for a couple that bought a home. It was an inventory home in a great neighborhood, and they were excited about it until they really got to consider their lifestyle and why did they want that home? Well, they wanted the home for a snowbird home. And they've ended up with a house that's just too big and they don't want to maintain it. Right. So we're turning around and going to put it on the market and make it a great opportunity for a quick move in for somebody that does need a larger home yep. in a resort style neighborhood. So these things happen. Life changes. And right. Judy, do you have someone? I have someone who moved here and then just decided that due to some allergies and things, nothing, the home's a beautiful home, it's a great home, great spot. She was better off in a different climate for her health. Right. So that's an option too. Um, oh, I got, I had a brilliant thought and it is gone. So you missed out on that one. <laughs> um, so one of the things I was thinking about was sometimes when we'll start working with you, we ask a lot of questions and, and some people are very forthcoming with, answers. Some people haven't thought things through and just want to get going, especially in 2021. Um, a lot of pressure. I just want, I just want a 4-3, three, a three-car garage. I need 2,000 square feet. I need to go, and I need to do it now. And if we, part of this remorse is some people didn't really think through everything or didn't have a back and forth conversation on something. So right. um, if you are working with somebody that tries to answer, ask you questions, don't get frustrated with that because we're trying to uncover why you want this particular home. Why you you know? Why do you need a gated community? What is it about the gated community? Or why do you need um, to be in a specific location? Very limited. You know, does that really have what you want? And so we do try to uncover those ahead of time. Sometimes we miss, or sometimes people change their minds. That happens yes, that too. That happens too. I have uh, many times started yeah. out with somebody that wanted to downsize, and they ended up with a bigger, bigger house. house. Than yeah, what yeah. They had. So yeah. we do try to uncover those things, but that's sometimes what happens. So but um, these hasty pandemic purchases, emotional purchases, right? Uh, you know, there was a lot of bidding going on. People got into a frenzy. The pressure was intense. 
and you know nobody wants to miss out yeah yeah so we had people that you know we counsel as best we can yeah, yeah. at the time. Nobody knows really what's going to happen to the market. No, no. So we're looking. And that lasted longer than I thought it would. Yeah. It was going on for quite some it while. It was nuts. Yeah. But the um, top reasons that most people regret their purchase is they feel like they overspent, overspent. during that Stretch their budget. really frenzied time. Yeah. Or they, they felt rushed. Yeah. I think that that's Part one thing that's happened. And we felt that, too, for people. Oh, we oh were like, sure. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially if there was an inventory home that was going to close in two months, and people were coming in, and there was competition yeah. Yeah. there as well yeah. as in the resale so. uh, sector. Yeah. And, and we I think the article also mentioned that some people just, especially first-time home buyers, just didn't ex realize how expensive maintaining a home could be. Right. Um, especially with the supply chain issues and the right. increases. Um, I think some things people just didn't think about or didn't expect. Right. Um, it's a new house. I'm not going to have to put anything into it. Well, yeah, there's still costs involved in home ownership. And a lot of the supply chain issues created increased prices in the design center for the structural yes. options yes not just the base price yes and not just the lot right right um, and just the, not the fanciest cabinets i mean everything right went up and even luxury home buyers had regrets because maybe their life has changed maybe like anybody, maybe their remote job went back yeah, to I, the office. I have a couple of families I'm working with that all of a sudden they can't be remote anymore. Right. Or or their company had a major reorganization and right. they're in a different job now. Right. So right. that happens. Or they have changed jobs. So, yeah. So, um, you know, what we're trying to say is you shouldn't be too regretful because there's always a solution and Judy and I want to help you figure out what that might be for you if you've decided that you're just overwhelmed with your purchase. Right. Maybe you've got some equity in there. Yes, but the homes especially that were built in, or contracted in 2021, there's definitely, you're usually way ahead of the game. Right, because the interest rates were so low. Yeah. Um, maybe your, um, your design work was you know, made your purchase price go up, and so your mortgage is a little higher than you yeah. wanted yeah. it to be. Or maybe the family members that you thought were moving in with you didn't, didn't want to come to Florida. Exa that's, that's happened. That's happened, yeah. That's happened. So. <laughs> so, or maybe you just decided you didn't like the location. Yeah, yeah. Because so many of these new home neighborhoods, you have to have a strong vision right. of what it's gonna be like. Right. You know, I went down to Welland Park the other day, and they've opened the first phase of the downtown area. It looks different. I was so surprised. <laughs> it's going to be really nice. Yeah. And people are going to be drawn to that area more and more as they see more and more right. happening. And the same thing's going to happen with North River Ranch. Yes. As the... Uh, the town, town centers center. grow and so forth. Things are still on track with that, by the way. We've right. got an update today. Hospitals still coming. Yeah. Retail, medical offices, support. That's all still coming. Right. Right. Um, yeah. So and and some people forgot that it's can get really warm here in the summer. <laughs> so it's still warm. I mean, it's we're going to be close to eighty today. Yeah. It's mid February. Right. Right. So. Right. <laughs> now, if you bought a resale and you. Oh. Maybe you waived your inspection yeah. so that you could win that bid. Well, maybe those home improvements are going to cost a little bit more, more because expected. everything is costing yeah. more these days. Yeah. Um, what we're offering in terms of a solution for you is a close analysis of your situation as it is. We want to help you try and figure out what it is what your needs have morphed into. Yeah, yeah, a good conversation. Yeah. Um, yeah, a conversation, and the conversation is totally free. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, hey, well, let's think about it. Or I have a neighbor who wants to sell her home. Um, she, unfortunately, is widowed. But for what she has, the equity in her home and her current payments and her maintenance, we haven't found anything that's a better deal. So it may uh, not be yeah. selling your home. It may be 
you know what, this isn't so bad. Or maybe it's we wait a, a little longer and right. see how things are. So it's, it's not immediately that we're going to stick your home in the market and just going to sell next month. No, it, it's, it's got to work for you. A process, yeah. Right. Definitely. And, and we're, we're going to see yeah. if we can help you analyze the situation. Yeah. Um, yeah. Homeowners fees, homeowner association fees go up. Some people I found, you know, oh yeah, we wanted all these amenities. And they're like, you know, we've been here a year and we haven't, we, yeah. we have our own pool. We don't go to the pool. Yeah. We don't need all that. Right. Okay. Then let's right. find somewhere else. Yeah. So, I mean, that happens too. It's right. like the list of demands and the wishes, the wish list, I think is out of hand. And right. I, do, I sometimes try to say what's a, what's a, a need and a what's need, a wish. A wish. So right. maybe some people got really excited about the wishes because there are some fantastic homes out here and some fantastic, fantastic communities that look great. And then it's like, oh, I still have that fee and I forgot that that CDD is coming on my taxes and I wasn't thinking about that at the end of the year. Right. So it's a conversation that we'd be glad to have with you if you're feeling stressed out. We don't want you to be so stressed out. It ruins your relationships at home or makes you depressed about where you yeah. are and and throws a, you know. We want you to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah we want you to yeah. enjoy your lifestyle in yeah. Florida. So And we work with resale. We don't just do new homes. That's so true. we can help yep. you list it. We can help you find a resale. Um, I have a customer that just, she really wants great big old trees. She wants big old oak trees. And there's not as many of those in some of the new communities. Right. So but we'll go look for big old oak trees. So we're going to help you if you need any advice. Another topic that we've seen pop up in some of our uh, news, real estate news articles. And our, gosh, the past month and a half, it's come up a couple times. Yeah, and appropriately, being Valentine's Day is just past, the topic is love letters. What the What's heck? a love letter? A love letter sounds so sweet and nice. Why don't I want a love letter? Well... A love letter. This is a tool that realtors used to use. And for some reason, uh, they thought it might work <laughs> in order to persuade a seller to take their offer. All right, over someone else. Right. So the love letter is written to the seller with you know, lots of personal information yes, yes, sometimes. Yes. Just like you, they're expecting their first child and their golden doodle would fit so well in your backyard. And and please tell the seller that uh, my couple, blah, 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 you know. Right. Does it work? I don't know because we don't do it. No, but I have <laughs> done it. Well, let's put it this way. I have been on the receiving, receiving end, side yes, yes. of love letters. Yes. Um, no, I don't think that I've ever had a buyer write one, but I can remember distinctly yes. a love letter that a seller received, and she was a much older woman, so you would think that these little details would yes. tug at her heart. Right. Oh, my family's going to love growing up in your home, and we know that you've taken such good care of it, and that the you can spirit feel the of love. Fam, the love. And you know what she did? She had the letter in her hand, excuse me. She went, this is supposed to convince me to take their deal? <laughs> yeah. It's money that convinces yeah. me, Susan. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you got yeah. that right. Yeah. And, and on a more serious note, it's, you have to look at housing discrimination. It could be a violation of a housing discrimination if you That's true. choose, like, oh, here's a picture of my family so you right. can see the family characteristics. And... That could be a very illegal move. Um, I had a realtor sending in a bid on one of my listings recently, and I said, hey, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for sharing that, but I'm not sharing that with my seller. And she's like, why not? I get that all the time. I'm like, because it's illegal. So um, be very careful on trying to use those. Right. Because it's... It doesn't really work. It doesn't work, and it's walking on a slippery slope. You could get in trouble. You know, the best thing to do is make your best offer. Yeah. Yep, be prepared. Based, be prepared based on what you can afford yeah. um, and what your foreseeable expenses might be. It's, it's a big puzzle to put yep. together, but love letters don't fit in there mm -mm. anymore. Nope, just like we talked about uh, people regretting purchases. Again, this can't be an emotional thing. You can be excited and be thrilled and love your home, 
but it can't be part of that decision process for the seller. Right. Uh, yeah. So just we wanted to address that because some people are like, tell them this, tell them this, tell them how great we are, tell them, <laughs> you know, whatever, you know, and uh, we can't can't do that, no. you know, or tell them we're a we're a childless couple and we'll be really quiet in the neighborhood. They'll love that. Like we can't tell them that either, you know. So. <laughs> Just, Demographics are not something that we can reveal, right? Nor do we actually know, right? Sometimes we don't. Yeah. Uh, the best thing I can tell people is that if you want a fifty-five plus community, then focus on a fifty-five we can do that. plus yes. community. Yes. Yes. That is the best we can yep. do. Yeah. If people are wanting to move into a neighborhood, but they don't want, you know, large families living next door or down the street. Drive around at different times yeah. of the day and see what's going on. Don't buy on. in a neighborhood with a big playground. Uh, or that has basketball hoops yes, yes. up and down the street in yeah. the driveway yeah. or, or bicycles yeah. that are parked yeah. in the front yard. Yeah. And, and also, I had, I had a, a fantastic young couple. We want a diverse neighborhood. I'm like, well, what does that mean? Is it right. nationality? Is it ages? Is it where they grew up? I mean, we can't work on those words either. Right. So. Yeah. Demographics are not really our uh, a tool that we can use to steer. Right, that's the word. except a offer. Yeah. If we're steering people, then we're breaking the law. Right. So. Right. Many times we can't answer a lot of those questions. Right. Yes. There's, we can't answer that. You know, you can look at the school demographics. You can look at this. You can drive around. Right. Um, but yeah. Spend some time getting to know the neighborhood yep. on your from your perspective. Right. And save your love letters for your Valentines. Yes. <laughs> Those love letters are okay. <laughs> okay. If you have any other topics that you'd like for us to discuss, we would be glad to sit down and do research if we yep. need to yep. or just Find share resources. a conversation or... Yep. Hey, yeah. you can call us yep. <laughs> because we're always available. Yep. So now you know what we we do when we're not doing new homes. We we do a lot of other things. Yeah. And we learn about a lot of things. And right. we'll try to give you a very good buttoned up solid offer when we make them as well. Right. Okay, so until the next time. Wish you the best. Bye-bye.